Master, wake up. I have good news to report. Ah oh, yes, evil gamer, my loyal subject. Please enlighten me. Well, I'm happy to tell you that we're one step closer in finding the missing artifact. Ah, this is excellent news. I grow tired of waiting to be released from this mirrored prison. Evil Gamo, you know what you must do. <laughs> Alright, gaming gurus. What? You called me? Uh, I said gurus, not Goro. Oh, sorry, buddy. Ugh, my new neighbor. Anyways, today we're going to be looking at the 7-Up games. In the 1980s, 7-Up created a small mascot called Spot. And it wasn't long before this little guy received a video game of his own on the NES called Spot the Video Game. So, let's go ahead and check this one out. Wait a minute! What the hell is this? This isn't a video game. In fact, it's more like a rehashed version of the board game Othello. Which, coincidentally enough, they also made a video game out of. Boy, talk about a stupid idea. Picking up the board game would cost you three times less. But look, if you're gonna put the words video game in the title, I expect to see some side-scrolling action. Not garbage like this. Ugh. Shame on you for being in a game like this. So in Spot the Board Game, your goal is to have the most chips changed over to your color by the time the game is ended. And this is done by animated spots jumping, dancing, and pole vaulting across a screen in order to change all the surrounding chips after landing. And the player with the most chips at the end wins the game. This game also supports up to four players. So just break out the four player adapter invite three of your friends over, and then challenge them to a battle of wits. Uh, I meant real friends, not weird mascot things. Ah oh, well, let's just do this. This game is stupid. Now who the hell could that be? Yes? Ah, hello there my good man. Today we're giving away free pizzas in exchange for anyone who has a Magnavolk's Odyssey. Really? Well sweet, because I just happen to have one right here. Ah, Magnifico, that'll do nicely. Well that is just... Hey, wait a minute. Ow! Evil gamer? I should have known. Ah, enough of this charade. Now give me that Magnavox Odyssey before I pound you! <laughs> yeah right, pal. These things cost over a hundred bucks on eBay. So, get lost. Hey, don't you close that door on me! You get back out here and fight like a man, you overgoing piece of crap! What? What'd you call me? I... I... get the... Hmm... <sighs> well, that was just weird. Anyways, let's just move on to the second game called Spot the Cool Adventure. Yeah, now this is more like it. This was the kind of side-scrolling action I was talking about. But if you're also expecting a cool adventure like the title implies, you'll be quickly disappointed. Throughout the game, your player can only do two things. Pick up blocks to throw at enemies, and collect these little spot coins. I'm not even sure why we're even collecting these in the first place. Now, if you happen to die at any point in the level, you'll have to go back and restart from the very beginning. Bummer. But if you think that's bad, check this crap out. On the third stage, I can't seem to get up here no matter what I do. Oh, come on! Wow, this game really sucks. Oh, come on, grow up. 
The next 7-Up game to hit was called Cool Spot for both the Genesis and Super Nintendo. Now these games are almost identical to each other, but the Super Nintendo version was made with a few more levels, so we'll just go ahead and review that one. In this game, your mission is to travel around the level and collect these little spot coins until you've grabbed 30% of them. Once that happens, you'll be able to free the captured spot that's waiting for you at the end of the level. Of course, if you really want to go for some extra brownie points, grabbing 75% of these spot coins will earn you a bonus round once you complete the level. Get 100% and you'll earn an extra life. But trying to locate some of these coins are a major pain in the ass, so until they actually prove to do something useful like getting you laid, then hell with them. Once you complete the level and release your friend, they'll then do an annoying dance of joy for you. Oh, brother. Well, not you too. After that, it's then on to the bonus round, which takes place inside of a giant 7-Up bottle. The point here is to use the carbonation bubbles to climb higher and try to reach the very top, because it's up here where you find these small letters that give you extra continues if you die. Collect all six, and you'll spell out the word Uncola. During the course of this game, you'll be searching for captured spots in all sorts of areas that only a mascot a few inches high can make an adventure out of. Behind walls, the river docks, a bathtub, a toy room, and don't even get me started on the nauseating train ride level. With the background flying off in one direction while you're traveling in the other, this just sets up the recipe for one bad case of vertigo. And me personally, I can only take so much of this kind of stuff. <laughs> This game even has one of those annoying levels where if you accidentally fall off a ledge, you'll fall all the way back down to the beginning of the level, and you'll have to waste your time climbing all the way back up again. Why do game developers continue on making these stupid levels? I hate them, you hate them, everybody frickin' hates them. So for God's sake, man, stop making them! I can just tell it's gonna be one of those days. Can I help you? Hey buddy, you hear the good news? They're giving away free Xboxes outside! Really? Aw, oh, sweet! Ha! <laughs> that was too easy. What a sucker. I don't see no Xboxes out here. Well, hi do there, neighbor! Hey Wilkins, hey, you see anyone giving away Xboxes out here? Hmm, nope. Can't say I have. You know what? I think I've been hornswoggled. I'd say so there, neighbor. That's weird. Why is there a teddy bear sitting here? <laughs> Sucker. What the hell? What just happened? Well, I think it's time for my medication. <sighs> Let's just get back to the game. Many stages later, we finally reached the last level of the game, and it looks like we've come full circle and returned back to the beach. So the only thing left to do now is to free the last spot and finish this game. Holy crap, could there be a more annoying mascot? Oh yeah! Cool, eh, man? Oh yeah! <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. You're not even in this game. Oh yeah, I know. Can I please finish this review without any more interruptions? Oh, okay. And that goes for you too, buddy. <laughs> hmm. So after rescuing the last spot, it's time to sit back and enjoy our well-deserved ending. What the hell? Play the game on hard and collect all six Uncola letters? Son of a bitch! Oh no! Well, fine, if that's what they're looking for, let's do this. Oh, yeah! Alright, about damn time too, neighbor. Yeah! Alright, time to get down to business.
After meeting all the ridiculous requirements for getting the best ending possible, it's finally time to see what this grand prize really is. What the hell is this? Take a picture of the screen to send in for a prize? This game is over 15 years old! How the hell am I supposed to claim anything for finishing the game? How stupid! Ah, to hell with it. I'll just take a picture anyway. Any of you guys got a camera? Nope. Uh, nope. Um, nope. 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 My cell phone. Alright, well, let's try sending this bad boy in. Master, I did it. I have the Odyssey. Excellent. Now hook it up to the extraction machine. We need that artificial intelligence. Minion is at hand! Rise, my evil minion! Hello, Dave. Yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, I have a package here for Chris the Irate Gamer. Oh, sweet, I've been waiting for this, thanks. Hey, buddy, that was a COD. You still owe me 40 bucks. <sighs> I was talking. To... I... <laughs> All right, finally got my package from 7 Up. Now, time to see what this grand prize is. What the hell? Box full of 7-Up games? No. No. No! 